Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Minty, and this is episode 126 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament, and this is the, a, the first of the two semi-final matches. We've got the Son of Tillman by myself, going up against the New Hampshire by Faram 4. Let's go ahead and get the camera in position, and away we go, the fight is underway. Tillman comes popping up out of the water. Gets its barrages off. The uh, New Hampshire did already fire its shots. They're coming in and... Oh, just... Just missing. Oh. And another just barely miss. gun got disabled by that hit. Yeah, that, that secondary gun is disabled. As is this one now, it seems. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, it looks like something may have hit right here. I didn't notice it. Alright, Tillman's at 96%. New Hampshire's at 92.7. Let's go check on the New Hampshire. Oh, down to 90.5 from those secondary hits. Those high explosive shells doing work. Oh, that, that, that brutal grouping. Oh, if that was aimed a little lower, that would have done some serious damage. And even still, that is a big old hole blown in the New Hampshire right now. New Hampshire down to 82.5%. Tillman's firepower is just... Ripping the New Hampshire up. Those hit a bit lower and oh man, the hole! <laughs> the New Hampshire is not having a good day. Let's see how the Tillman is doing. Looks like one of the front guns may have been destroyed. Oh no, just disabled. I mean that's that's still bad, but it's not. I guess it's technically not as bad. One of the rear guns is disabled as well. Those secondary guns. Ooh, direct hit to this gun. Ooh, another direct hit. All oh, that cap armor. Holding it together, though. Actually managing to survive multiple direct hits like that. Those secondary guns seem to be doing some pretty good work themselves. When they don't miss. <laughs> I mean, how do you miss at this range? Hey, come on, guys. Oh, that's coming right for this gun. But it is basically pure high explosive in those shells, so they... Yeah, they didn't... Well, they did a little bit. Oh! Okay, now that! <laughs> I was gonna say, they didn't- those six, those uh, high explosives didn't do a lot, and then all of a sudden there was a fucking- Oh, oh, oh no, I said the F word. YouTube's gonna hate me now. All of a sudden there was a- uh, You know, the main guns came flying in there. Oh, that's gonna hit that gun. That shell is going to direct hit on that gun. But hey, the, the New Hampshire's guns are uh, taking quite the hit. And not really minding it too much. Oh, those secondaries landing in the middle where I imagine there's not as much armor. Both ships out of materials to repair with. Now it's just down to who can damage the other one faster. for a while. Oh, that's strange. That shell fell really short as if it doesn't have a, you know, an individual local weapon controller, but they do. Every single... I'm not sure if the secondary guns do. I 
don't remember, but I know the main guns have a local weapon controller on each every, each individual gun. May oh, maybe it was destroyed. A lot of the Tillman shots missing here because the the distance and the turning of the New Hampshire. Not all of them are missing. New Hampshire is taking damage still. Oh, those are gonna... Yeah, but it seems like only these couple of guns up here in the front are still working on the New Hampshire. And even those misses are managing to kill some blocks. Just from the, the sheer AoE. High explosive secondaries. New Hampshire down to 57%. Ooh. I don't think she can take another volley like that. is too damaged. <clears throat> and I don't believe... Oh, there is a shell in the air from the New Hampshire still, so... Let's let that finish its thing. Tillman's still okay. So that's it. 79.1. Oops. Wrong. Wrong square. 79.1 and the New Hampshire was destroyed. Tillman took a lot of damage but came out on top in round one. But you never know. That could have just been some lucky early shots taking down some guns. Because like if even one turret got killed in the first volley or two, that could make a huge difference in a match that was as close as that was. I mean, it, that wasn't super close, but... It, it, like, you know, there could have been some luck involved. Ooh. That may... Yeah, that, these secondary guns just got damaged by that blast. Because they have basically no armor. <laughs> Superstructure of the Tillman taking some hits, but there goes one of those extra tight groupings. Oh, this gun just got knocked out. All four barrels disabled by those hits. That is bad, bad news for the New Hampshire. This time the uh, HP values are a lot closer early on, though. But that, that gun getting taken out is absolutely horrible news for New Hampshire. from the Tillman. There's, just, there's always shells about to hit.
turret is in trouble. Well, that turret's the one that's already disabled, so... I mean, it getting popped off would be bad, sure, but... It would be worse if the other turrets were taking hits like that. That third shell there. That was a direct hit, but the armor does seem to have held and kept the gun alive. Things are a bit closer HP-wise this time. The New Hampshire still has a bunch more materials, though. Let's see. Looks like both of these guns still have all four guns functional. As does this turret. Some barrel damage, but uh, otherwise... Oh, two of the secondaries back here got blown up. What about the secondaries up front? One of them's gone. <laughs> oh man, the New Hampshire is down to 72% health. And it's just looking real rough. Oh, Tillman's down to 77% though. This is a lot closer than the first round. Turret. Oh. Ooh, that one was a direct hit, but armor's still holding. How many hits can these turrets take? Jeez. <laughs> Those are some strong turret caps. Oh, the bow is in very, very big danger of falling off here, though. That would be a big old chunk of HP loss. Check in on the Tillman. Oh, all four of the... I think all the secondary guns on the Tillman are gone, and she's sailing straight away. Uh-oh. I think she... Uh-oh. Her rudders are supposed to be, like, right there. Oh, but there's a turret. <laughs> I don't think she can turn. I don't think the Tillman can turn. Her rudders are gone. Yep, she's gaining DQ time. Uh, both of these front guns are disabled. Yeah, this this turret right here is the only gun left on the Tillman. Tillman lost all of her rudders and cannot turn at the moment. Is a bit more concerning. Granted, I don't think the Tillman would have made it to the five minute mark regardless, but it looks like she's going to die to DQ time. Her, she was uh, unable to maintain her, her uh, distance properly. So that's a 68.6 for the New Hampshire and a zero for the Tillman. That's going to make the scores pretty close so far as we go into round three. Tillman's got a slight advantage, but it's not much. Even with taking out one of the guns early. Right, the Tillman just kind of put itself in a really bad position there at the end, sailing directly away from the enemy like that. But hey, from the depths is gonna from the depths. Tillman fired, what is that, three? Like, why did it only fire three? Now, it fired three shells when there's four tur guns on the turret. It's like, now the Tillman's not gonna have that, you know, nice, super tight, packed grouping. Because the game doesn't know how to work right. <laughs> Because those tightly packed groupings like that right there coming in. That is how the Tillman kills things. Passing all that. 
that damage into one spot. Tell me at 97%. Ooh. New Hampshire's down to 90%. Taking some bad hits here, but not none of them are disabling her. Oh, but her superstructure is basically gone. Lots of shells hitting here in the stern. Oh, the stern is getting ripped open. But it's hard to tell exactly what kind of shells those were because for some reason we've lost the uh, contrails. Well, those were main guns because. High explosives have altitude fuses on them. <laughs> oh, the stern of... Oh, oh, just the, the stern of the New Hampshire getting really, really slammed there. so well. Any more hits to that area will probably pop it off. Oh, that gun took even more hits. How is this thing not just falling straight off? Components are exposed to the air and shells keep hitting in that area. And yet somehow the gun continues to be connected. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh that's that's nasty. Like I keep saying that, like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, I'm just going where the action is. Yeah, let's go look at the... Oh, the Tillman has lost one of her main guns. One of the secondaries back here is gone. She's in danger of being broken in half right in here. She's out of material. She cannot fix that. Another one of the front guns is pretty much disabled. One barrel is still functioning. This one still functions. Both of the forward secondaries are still working. Oh, jeez. I just noticed the New Hampshire's down to 60% HP. Ooh, the superstructure of the Tillman getting blown wide open here. Exposing one of the, uh, the engine blocks. materials to repair with, but Tillman is outdoing its repair rate. Oh, another volley like that. Like the New Hampshire cannot take many more hits. Oh, and she's gone dead in the water. right at the end before she goes down. That last gasp. And it missed. Alright. So that's the end of round three. 72.2 for the Tillman. Come on. 
Oh, my numlock key was off. That's why it wouldn't work. All right, so that... I believe that's... Oh, no, that's totally still... Win what am I thinking? I... No, no, it has to be minus 50. Yeah, that is totally winnable via the vote, so this w the poll will be matter for this one. Make sure you head on over to the Discord and uh, check it out. Cast your vote. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.